When Henry Ford began building sweepstakes in 1901, he had a specific purpose in mind, publicity and recognition. He had a goal and nothing was going to get into his way, not even the failure of his first automobile company. Hi, I'm Ken Smith, and this is the story about Henry Ford's race car that changed everything, the 1901 Ford Sweepstakes. In late 1900, Henry Ford's fortunes were fading at a rapid pace. His first venture in auto manufacturing, the Detroit Automobile Company, was going out of business after producing a mere 19 or 20 vehicles in a year of operational production. The cars he manufactured did not sell well, and Ford wanted to develop a better one. His stockholders saw things differently, though, and ultimately decided to dissolve the young company. Now, Henry Ford was a visionary, and he wanted to build an automobile that could be mass-produced, uncomplicated, reliable, and sold at a price most people could afford. That was a revolutionary inspiration in 1901, when the automobile was still a novelty and much too expensive for all but the exceptionally wealthy to purchase. In fact, during that time, Henry Ford was thought of in Detroit as being a bit of an eccentric. It's hard to conceive now, but at that time, Ford was not well known, especially beyond Detroit. He had been a mechanical engineer at the Edison Illuminating Company when he produced his first working automobile, the Quadricycle of 1896. That car brought him some local recognition, but nothing like the sensations being created in the press by famous drivers and builders, both in the US and in Europe. Many years later, when recalling that time, Ford said, I never thought anything of racing, but the public refused to think about the automobile as anything but a fast toy. Therefore, we had to race. Racing proved the worth of a builder's engineering talent by demonstrating the speed and reliability of the product they designed. Henry Ford was confident that somebody would succeed in producing the mass market car he envisioned. And above all else, he wanted to be the one to do it. But that would require significant financial investment. He needed to prove to potential backers that he had good, sound ideas and that his automobiles could be a commercial success. Racing sweepstakes would provide a high-profile way to promote his name and his reputation. Still, sweepstakes was a huge risk both financially and credibility. Fame as well as significant prize money could be won, but only if the car proved to be a winner. Ford needed both, but he was facing exceptionally tough odds. There was already plenty of successful builders and racers to provide a field full of fierce and experienced competition. While there are no records or descriptions about how sweepstakes was operated, from the positions of the controls, it is reasonable to assume that Henry Ford operated the steering, the throttle lever, the reverse gear pedal, the gear shift lever, and the brake lever. From his position crouched on the left running board, the principal job of Huff, who was the riding mechanic that Henry Ford selected to operate the vehicle during the race, was to counterbalance the car in the turns. Huff also would operate the controls for spark advance, the ignition on off switch, and the oil system as necessary. Sweepstakes carried Henry Ford to victory in the first and only race that Henry Ford ever drove in. This race was against only one driver, Alexander Winton. On October 10, 1901 in Gross Point, Michigan, Ford beat Winton. Since Ford was the underdog and the local favorite who defeated one of the best and most successful racers in the country, his victory was instantaneously popular and extensively publicized. Ford's win changed everything for him and ultimately for the history of the auto industry. Several people watching that day came forward with offers of financial support, which set him on the road to establishing Ford Motor Company in June of 1903. Ford went on to prove his belief in low-cost production with the Model T, 
the car that put the world on wheels. Restoration of the original sweepstakes along with the building of two working replicas began in preparation for the Ford Racing 100th anniversary celebrations. And that's the story of sweepstakes. I wanna thank the Henry Ford Museum for allowing me to shoot some video and for providing information so that I was able to create this video for you to enjoy. When you are in Dearborn or the surrounding areas, be sure to visit the Henry Ford. It is a museum rich with history and so much more than just an automobile museum. I'll put a link in the description so you can learn more about this incredibly amazing museum. Hey, remember to give us a like and a subscribe, but most of all, be blessed.